Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming at you again. This time we're going to talk about angled versus straight across flush cutting and how that works for putting, uh, getting that onto a load bar if it makes it any easier, which method happens to be easier. We had a, uh, a, a customer request to shoot this, uh, shoot this because they had uh, asserted that the angle was the better method when it's putting a load bar on as opposed to straight across. So uh, we're going to give it a shot and find out if I find any differences uh, between the two methods. We've already done this also for our pass-through connectors. I found that the angled method was slightly better than the straight across, although essentially I also said do whichever one you felt was better for you, which one you were more comfortable with, because it was, I mean, it was, it was just incrementally better. It wasn't like a major difference like night and day. So uh, we're going to take a close look here and try getting this load bar on with a straight across flush cut. So let's get a close up look. All right, so uh, just in case you're not aware, this is our CAT6 6, 6A uh, standard, that being standard as in uh, solid nose, uh, RJ45, AP8C, aka RJ45 plug, with our green load bar, which staggers the conductors. This particular plug is strongly recommended for any of our CAT6A unshielded cable. The reason being that the uh, load bar uh, does tend to have a significant performance impact on category 6A cable driven to 10 gigabit uh, in speed. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try the method. We're going to try first with the straight across. So I'm going to cut these conductors straight across like so. And now we're going to try to get that load bar on there. And I found that the easiest way is to kind of like rock it on back and forth a little bit after you get it started. Just rock it on like that and it pretty well easily just slid right on. And I'll make sure the color, yep, okay. So, so the load bar is on there and of course, you know, if I was doing a real termination, I would slide this load bar down so it's, you know, pretty close to the cable jacket. But uh, that was pretty easy and that was with the straight across flush cut. So let's find out if it's any easier with the angled flush cut. So here's our angle flush cut. Okay, so now we've got an angle on there. And I'm going to try to get this load bar on and see if it's any easier. So I'm going to start with this end, the, the longer end, and just rock it on. And again, uh, it went on just as easy as the first time. So uh, from my perspective, my experience, uh, whether it's a straight across or an angle flush cut uh, before you put the load bar on to the conductor uh, uh, wires here, I'm not seeing a significant difference between the two. So my basically my, my recommendation for whether it's, it's better off to angle or straight across, just do what works for you and what you're most comfortable with. If you've been doing it straight across forever and that's what you like, then do it. If you've been doing angled, then do that. If you happen to do angled uh, and you like it better, then switch. But I'm not seeing any major differences. Certainly nothing to write home about or throw a huge party over. So beyond that, I'm going to say, please subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Visit our Cable Academy at truecable.com. You have a wonderful day. Happy networking.